Hi everyone, in this video we are going to create tab menu. So, first show you what we are going to create in this video. So, here you can see this beautiful navigation we are going to create. This is a little tab menu and it is very smooth when we click now. As you can see here, and when we click on the any icon and it's become icon with name so let's create this one a step by step so let's start to create so and here you can see i have already created a starter file that a starter file contains three files first is index.html and second a script.js and third is our style file now we can see I have some style here and I set body font family Arial so I am going to create let hide this one and first I am going to link our style file here now I am going to run with live server so now we can see our output here so list i am going to create one wrapper for this that will contain all these tab item so first i am going to create one wrapper tab menu that will contain all these items so just create one list tab menu list and take item tab menu item here you can see this green section contains two item first is icon and second is home so I will create two span that will contain icons and home text. So here we can write two span and give here home and here I will use icon. So let's search remix icon and go here. Copy this CDN link and go to our html file and paste here and close it and we can search here first home and copy this one and we can paste here and copy this item three times more and here we can write likes here search and here profile now search heart and copy this one and paste here search and copy this one too and we can paste here and last one is profile user and copy this one and test here now as you can see all item are here and we are going to create like this one so go to a style file and here 
we can first i am going to do center so display grid this item center mean height 100 vh now i am going to give the style of tab menu background color i will use color secondary and here background color i will use primary now as you can see if sub padding 1 ram and 2 ram and list a style this list so select this one tab menu list list a style then and display flex justify content a space between and gap to ram now it's looking nice and i am going to add here border radius 10 ram now we can see it's looking like this container and let's style this item so here i am select that one tab menu item and display flex gap 0.5 ram align item center and color i want now i am going to give border radius 4 ram and let give background color for now red and here we can give font size 1.2 ram and we can give padding 1 ram and also i want to cursor pointer so here cursor pointer and go to index.html and here i want to add one class class tab menu icon and copy this class and i will paste here here and here too now i am going to give class of this text tab menu text and copy this one and we can paste here here and here and go to a style and here i want tab menu icon as you can see here icon is not aligned well so i am going to give transform translate y to pixel now it's looking nice and let select the, this text tab menu text and i want display none now we can see just all the icon appears and all that text go on right now let's remove this one 
we don't need it now we can see it's looking nice and here we can give box shadow 0, 0, 1 ram and we can use where color primarily light now now i am going to create one class tab menu dash dash active and here i want color where color primary and i want padding 1 ram and 2 ram and background color where color light now go to html file and here we can write tab menu that's just active now we can see this class active now but text didn't show so go to a style file here just tab menu active and tab menu text display i want block now we can see here it's shown let's add click listener on this item so i am going to script.js before writing any code first go to html file and we need to add a script and here a script.c and now we can go here and so here i will select all this item so go here and write const menu items and document query selector all and i want type menu item now i want to add listener on all the item so menu item and here for each and here write item and now menu item sorry item and add event listener and here pass click and now we can console here item and list open inspect and console and now we can see here we can see likes and we can click on search and now we can see here is click so it's working fine list i want to select item which one click by the user so i am going to here and here just add item and class list add and which class we want we want this one active so go here and just paste and now we can see it's working fine but we want to remove previous selected item so let declare one let previous selected item and now i want to undefined and here we can just write previous selected item and class list remove and here we can paste this one now we click and we will get one error as you can see cannot read properties of undefined so here 
first time is undefined and click so this is undefined so i want to check if it is undefined we don't remove anything and if it doesn't undefined then we will remove this class so now we can see and we need to here write previous selected item equal to this item now it will work as you can see but here this first item is not removed so just go here and we can write item and menu item zero position and now we doesn't need it now we can see it's working fine but here we can see this is a smooth animation so let's give the transition of the items so so go to a style file and here we can give transition all 0.4 second and cubic I want this one now we can click it's working fine like this one so let's see I hope you understood this one I will meet you in next one and if you like don't forget to subscribe share and comment stay safe